Three years ago, Laura Marston made a New Year's resolution. As a mother of two, she wanted to cut back on her environmental impact, and she swore never to use a single-use plastic water bottle ever again. That was just the beginning of a new movement in her life. From there, she took baby steps, finding new ways to reduce and reuse. Now those steps have sparked a business in South Portland called Go Go Refill, where she teaches others how to minimize their use of plastic. We asked her to share a few tips with us. You're the first of your kind in Maine, possibly in New England. Was it that much more difficult for you to kind of wrap your mind around, how do I do this? There are about 20 other stores like this in the US, and there are many more in Europe and Canada and Australia and New Zealand. So living in the time we live in, I can see everything they do on social media and learn from what seems to be working for them and kind of tailor the idea for our community. Um, sourcing the products has been the biggest challenge. Um, it's taken months of research to find these products, products that align with our mission to reduce packaging, but also are planet friendly and body friendly. Of course, we think about the plastic water and shampoo bottles we use, but what about the containers that hold our cosmetics? Or the dental floss we toss after use made of plastic and in a plastic bottle? Laura Marston wants others to know about a floss made from silk and kept in a glass bottle sourced from a company that started in Cape Elizabeth. Part of her mission is buying products that are local. This is a Luhu wool dryer ball. And what you do with this is you put it in your dryer with a load of laundry and it reduces dryer time. So you're using less energy in your dryer, but you can also put a few drops of essential oils on this and it makes your laundry smell great. So we have lipsticks in compostable tubes. We have refillable eyeshadow powder. Mascara is hard, very tricky, but we're working on it. This was, um, it sounds like, a huge love for you that you, when you started doing this, you started figuring out more and more. It sounds like you've done a lot of research on this. How dependent are we on plastics? We are completely dependent on plastics, and it's very tricky to kind of remove yourself from the equation. And even when you feel like you're removing yourself from the equation, then you take, you learn a little more and realize, oh my gosh, well, even all of the products in the grocery store that I buy that aren't in plastic are probably shipped here in plastic and wrapped in big plastic over wraps on pallets and stuff like that. So anybody who says they are plastic free is not really telling the truth. There's no way to be a plastic free person in our, in today's society. We, um, from manufacturing to transportation to um, all of the, all of those systems that are in place involve a lot of single use plastic and are pretty wasteful. For you, this journey started sort of step by step with mm -hmm. your family. If someone wants to just kind of slowly start getting into being a little less reliant on plastic, how do they even begin? So you kind of stated in your question, I think the biggest piece of advice is to start small. Um, tackling your whole home at once can be overwhelming and make you quit. But if you take one behavior or one habit or one product at a time and, and really fully digest making those changes and making them habits, then it's easier to build upon that. So I started with the plastic water bottle, but then moved on to um, a lot of buying a lot of bulk foods and um, looking at my household cleaners. Um, so those, you can pick an area of your home that you want to tackle. Um, and I have tons of ideas on how to do that, and I will ha be happy to talk to anyone who's interested, and we can come up with a personalized plan. If you're a, a Ziploc person, a great place to start um, to shed that habit would be with some stasher bags. Um, they seal really well, they wash up really well, and they're very durable. These are unpaper towels. So these are a paper towel replacement. Um, I use these in my home, they're fantastic. They, um, they're just cotton flannel, and I just fold them in a basket, and they're in the same place where the paper towel roll used to be. So this is one of my favorites. This is the spork and cork. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, a bamboo to-go spork, spork with so a spoon and a fork. And it's really, really light. And I use this, and I used to keep it in my purse, so I always have a utensil, and I never have to rely on a single-use plastic fork or spoon. And are these, is this laundry detergent here? Yes, these are laundry pods. Um, those are, you can feel them, they're kind of funny. Um, they're plant-based, so once they oh. go into the washing machine, they totally dissolve and they wash your clothes really well. It's a very little amount of detergent, but it does a whole load. Um, yeah, so those are easy. If you're interested in those, you can bring in a glass jar or even a box or anything you have, and we can fill it up for you. 
I think it's really important to know that um, we're a store for everyone. So whether you are just kind of figuring out that you want to start this process, or if you've been um, habitually reducing, or you call yourself a zero waster, um, you're welcome here, and we would love to help you find a product that fits where you are in your journey. You can find more information about GoGo Refill in the 207 section of our website or our mobile app.